Hello, welcome to the USDA ARS Research Center in Parlier, California. You've come to the unit that is responsible for research on glassy wing sharpshooter and Pierce's disease, and here in my lab, I study the feeding behavior of sharpshooters like blue-green sharpshooters and glassy wing sharpshooters. My role is to learn the feeding behavior of the insect in relation to the inoculation or injection of the bacteria into the plant. So this is our new electrical penetration graph or EPG monitor of insect feeding. Uh, I co-invented this instrument and we patented it recently through the USDA. And it's a very special instrument. instrument. It's the most rigorous way of observing the feeding of these piercing sucking insects. And the reason for that is we turn the insect into an electrode and we run electricity through it. So how that happens is electricity is uh, generated, very, very low voltage electric signal is generated here. It goes in through this wire into the watered soil of the plant. And so the water flowing through the plant carries the electrical signal up to the leaf. And then we have an insect here that we've glued a very, very thin gold wire about a quarter the diameter of a human hair on its back with conductive glue. And when we put the insect on the plant, its piercing sucking mouth parts act just like an electrode. So when they're inserted into the electrified plant, it's just like a, turning on a light switch. You connect the circuit and the electricity flows across the insect up into its body and then through the wire up into this head stage amplifier where the first stage amplification is done. Now one of the main things about our new invention that made it possible to do recordings of sharpshooters was we designed a selectable switch here to change the amplifier sensitivity so that we could, we could actually um, transform the electronics of the instrument into something specialized just for that particular insect being recorded so that we could record anything from very tiny insects to very large insects. And sharpshooters are fairly large for this group of insects. So after the head stage amplifier, the, the electrical signal comes through this gray cord back into the monitor where it goes through several stages of amplification and then it is sent to a computer analog to digital board that then displays the waveform on the computer like you see here. So what we have here is a close-up image of our famous X-Wave, the sharpshooter X-Wave in EPG. And the X-Wave has many components in it, but um, these high spikes that you see right here are especially important. We think these are the very instance when the insect is injecting the bacteria into the plant. And the reason they're doing this is because these behaviors happen right before the insect begins sucking. So when you see these small plateaus, these pointed plateaus over here, each of those is one uplift of the lid of the piston-like pump inside their head that pumps up fluid from the xylem in the grape plant. And so every time it does that, it's pumping, pumping, pumping. Well, right before it begins that pumping, which will last for hours and is really what the insect wants, that's how it gets its nutrition, its food. Before it does that, it actually goes through a complicated process of salivating into the cell, tasting it, swishing the fluid around in its mouth, just like when you're tasting wine. And in that process of deciding whether the cell is acceptable, it spits out what has been in its mouth. And we think what has been in its mouth is dissolving the holdfast for the bacteria and then washing the bacteria out into the xylem right before pumping begins. So these few seconds of behavior are controlling the release of the bacteria into the plant. We hope to develop varieties of grapes that are resistant to the inoculation behavior of the insect so that we will have an additional trait besides resistance to the bacteria themselves to improve the durability of these resistant varieties once they are commercialized and used in the field.